This video has me a little shaken up because I'm making this for people that love Lego modular buildings, but maybe you don't have the budget for it. Maybe you're like, I can't spend $200 on a Lego set, Greg. Well, I have the perfect set for you. I got a Lego creator set here that very much feels like a modular, but at $40, the Townhouse Toy Store set number 31105 could be the answer for you. And this is a set that Clark built over the course of two days on live streams, and it turned out great. And I wasn't going to do a review on it, but I do think that there's a market for this, and I thought maybe we could show it off to you guys here in this video. We'll get some lighting on the situation here in Blind Clark Man, who is uh, now can't see anything, but somehow has to review this set. Uh, where are we starting at here, buddy? Let's start with the Lego employee who works at the toy shop. Yeah, I love her torso. She's got the Lego logo on her back there, looking great. And this isn't necessarily a Lego store, but... It uh, has a Lego store employee. <laughs> there is one other minifig with this as well, and this guy's in this little rocket ride, which mm -hmm. typically you would consider to be a filler piece, but in this case, I really like this because it reminds me of the promo that Lego did a while back. I did notice we gotta do a slight repair here because this is the front of the ride, and that's the way it should be right there. It actually works a lot better because the motion is moving forward now. That's a tricky build. This is uh, eight plus, and Clark Man built this whole thing by himself. Now that we got that all fixed up, here's the minifig that comes with this. I love his torso. He's got the polo shirt on and a jacket with the little blue legs. Looking nice. And that's all the minifigs from this. There's only two in here. But here is the actual set. And this is like, it sold me so much because of the character that's with this. And I'm going to spin this around ever so slightly so we can get in the light. I love the train that's on the front there. So immediately, as soon as you walk through the door, you're greeted with some toys. You got this little guy, little soldier little, little out there. The nutcracker. There's the gumballs. Yeah, there's a little gumball machine. And if you look through the windows, you can actually start seeing some of the toys there in the first floor, which if we turn this around this way, I can show everybody inside here. How do these reviewers actually show things with light on them? But inside here, there is Lego sets there on the wall. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you can see those. There is a plane in mm -hmm. the front window. Mm -hmm. There is a garbage truck, truck there. Mm -hmm. There is a cash register there. And mm -hmm. then there's money on the counter. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of little detail down here. My favorite thing probably is these printed tiles. And they are prints. Those aren't stickers. In fact, there were no stickers with this set at all. And that makes any Lego collector happy, I think. With the toy store covered, mm -hmm. what's here on the second floor, Clark? Man? Well, there's a bed for the little big figure kid. And there's a lamp. So two flower pots was the third one outside. So it's like a little apartment up top there. Uh -huh. And you got a door on the side here too. And there's a little light here. Nice. And a little balcony. Nice. I love the styling of that. The color looks good. Here's one of the parts I really like about this set. It sticks out a little bit out of the floor. And it makes it look really nice and cute and cool. It's like a bay window. Uh -huh. I, I like that. I like that. Very nice. And there's little flowers outside here too. Lots of detail. Like I said, it's got so much character and charm. And then up top, even more so, you got detail there on the roof. And there's the little peak with a bird up top there. A little cardinal, it looks like. He's flying around. It's got a little bit of everything on here. And again, this to me feels very much like a budget modular. This feels like if they put another $150 with this, this would be an actual modular set that you could buy but for somebody with forty dollars or someone that's just starting to build this is great for younger builders or people on a budget you can have a lot of fun with this and have a little ride outside you got all the little toys to play with it feels like an advent calendar you got a place set up here where it's an apartment you got animals it's it's a fantastic set it's so darn good i realize something is wrong on the side i'm looking at the <gasps> box uh oh what would we do we actually have to move the orange stud back of studs, so there's oh. only one of them on there. I don't think anyone would have minded that one, but the rocket ride, that was good that we figured that out, because that was that was a little messed up, and that works so much better. But you did a great job building this, man. Mm -hmm. Your building skills are, they continue to be on point. This is a three in one, too. So you could build this flower shop here. I don't think either of these are as good as the original, but you can also build this, which I think is like a, it's like a pastry shop, maybe. There's cupcakes and uh, desserts and stuff in there. Mm -hmm. So you could get three builds out of this too, which is great. This just feels like a perfect set for 
somebody that probably watches this channel. I'll link it down below if you want to pick it up on Amazon where I think it's still available. It is possibly retiring this year or might already be retired with Lego. So you want to grab this while you can if you want it. Otherwise, you're going to end up paying a lot more later. As we turn to ghosts, I hope you guys enjoyed this video coming along with us on this little review about as professional as we get here. We do like to share our Lego collecting journey, the things we're working on, and share things with you that we think you guys might like. And hopefully this is one of those things. It's a, it's a great set. And uh, I'm happy to have it in the collection. And I'm happy to have Clark Man take it out of the backlog for me. Hope you guys have a glorious rest of your day. And we'll see you in the next video. The box is like, I'm never uh, I'm out of this video. <laughs> it's still out of the video. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That was fun, though.